We go to a show to feel something. We want to be moved, delighted, transported back to a place in our hearts that we don't often visit. And the best performers are the ones who know how to take us there. What the audience often doesn't know is that the performer is feeling just as much as they are. Performing is not about the spotlight or the dazzling costumes or the big applause. It's about being freed from the darkness of being misunderstood. An applause says, I understand you, I heard you, I feel what you're feeling, and you're not alone. I believe that every person should know what it's like to be heard in their life, to have the confidence to walk on stage, face hundreds of strangers, and to sing and dance and speak directly from their hearts. That ability to come out of the darkness and step into the spotlight prepares anybody for anything they're going to face in life. When I was a student at Harvard, we set up a series of summer camps for Chinese kids who wanted to learn how to give a speech. These kids were pretty shy. The best way to get them out of their shell was to put down their phones and make them get up and perform and dance and embarrass themselves in front of all their friends. And pretty soon, giving a speech was not hard at all. Being on stage teaches you that life is full of surprises. It's not enough to have a great voice. What do you do when the mic fails, when the lights go off, when the song is wrong? Anything can happen, and oftentimes, anything does. You can't break down in the middle of a performance. You've got to find a creative way to brush off and get up and keep going. I often tell students the difference between you and the other performer in the audition or the other candidate in the interview is your ability to face rejection and smile anyway, to fall and dance anyway, to feel like crying inside, but sing anyway. When our students are being taught stage skills, they're being taught life skills. Practice, practice, practice again. Listen carefully, respect your teachers, be kind to others, be kind to yourself. Students are taught how to work fast under pressure, to market themselves as a skillful, useful person, to connect to an audience or a customer, how to save money and spend it wisely. These are essential things to know for anybody, even if they never pick up a microphone again. I think that everyone has a performer within. We just need someone or something to get it out. Teaching isn't just a relay of knowledge, it's also a relay of confidence. The best teachers are the ones who not only show you how to do something, but convince you that you can. I've spent the last five summers working with students in different kinds of camps, public speaking and leadership and language, but I've honestly never seen transformation happen as quickly and as effectively as I've seen it at a five-day musical theater camp. I've seen the shyest kid in class become the loudest singer on stage. I've seen the rowdiest kid in class move audiences to tears with a simple moment at the piano. The students who come here knowing what they want to do leave here knowing just how to do it. And for those who have no idea what they want to do, find something they never knew about themselves and are inspired to explore it later on. Whether the dream is to build a career as a great star or a business as a great enterpriser, or even a home as a great parent, there are skills here to learn that will equip and empower those dreams to start happening. I've seen students from all levels of talent leave here with something new, a new friend, a new life lesson, a newfound confidence to be authentic and tough and excited and brave, to abandon their fears and share the gifts that they've been given. That kind of confidence, once you've found it, stays with you for life. Shakespeare was right. The world is a stage and the men and women are merely its performers. We are here to prepare the next generation's performers for the greatest show of all.